One big feature I had on my initial list that I still haven't touched is the ability to render icons. The reason I've delayed this feature is because there's a very simple technique for getting icons up and running on top of a text rendering system. Doing things this way drastically minimizes the amount of work I'll have to do to compare to other techniques like manually loading bitmaps or baking icons into data tables in the executable. So let me show you how this works. To make this technique work, I need a TTF file where the code points map to the icons I want to use. This website, fontello.com, provides an open source icons database and a TTF baker that'll take those icons and put them into a file for us. So it's perfect for getting started with this technique. So far, I've selected the icons I want and downloaded the TTF containing those icons. The download also comes with a mapping of icon names to code points so that a user can invoke icons from their code. But this mapping is provided as a CSS file. I want it as a C header, so I have to manually convert it. Now I can drop the icon font into the path where my program sees font data, and then the header with the icon codes can get dropped into my source directory. With this setup, drawing an icon is just drawing a single character with my text rendering system using the icon font as the font. I'll also have to implement a new helper for rendering a single character since I don't actually want to draw strings and I don't want to have to take my character code and stuff it into a string array with null terminator or a length based thing. I just want to be able to draw a single character. So let me write that helper. Looks like it's not going to work on the first try today, so time for some debugging. And here we can see a few icons coming out of the system. With that, I have all the features I initially wanted to finish. But before I can f call this arc finished, I want to take a look at some frame rate controls, which are intimately connected with how rendering loops work. So that's what I'm going to do next time. See you then.